Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to CT Style. I'm Teresa Dufour. And I'm Ryan Christopher. Thanks so much for hanging out with us this afternoon. We have an awesome show lined up for you. Uh, so many awesome guests. Don't we always, though? Uh, most days, I think, yeah, every, every day. We're, we're making really cool cast iron pizzas. Yeah, delicious. They're also California closets. Mm -hmm. They are here. I mean, I love organizing my closet. I know. And they I, make it look so good at the end. I was so. going to say, if I know someone who loves closets, it's, it's, it's this true. one right here. So, uh, Also, we're going to be celebrating Ramadan uh, with an expert who flew in all the way from Toronto, Manal. She's going to show how uh, many kids can celebrate Ramadan this Perfect. year. So it's, it's a very interesting topic there. But first, today's dish is all presented by our friends over at Stone Academy. Today, May 15th, is relive your past by listening to the first music ever bought, no matter what, no excuses day. That's quite a title. Yeah, can they come up with a oh shorter, a bridge version? Day. Yeah, first That'll album do. you ever bought day, all right? So think about it at home. What's the first album you ever bought? First song, maybe, that you ever bought? <laughs> Let's start with, with you three. So what's yours? Um, all right, and Vogue, there uh -huh. you go. Monkey Nevis. That's right. Free Your Mind. That was their the single off that album. Can you sing a little bit of it Not for us? Not really. Free Your Mind and the rest will yeah. follow. Something along those lines. Uh -huh. But I was really wow. young. I, must, I was in middle school. They for were sure. just here in New Haven last year, right? On, oh, on stage right, on and the, the green. And the green. <laughs> yes. Joyce, our producer, says, love them. That's love them. right. And then uh, the other one I bought was TLC. Uh -huh. Ooh, on the TLC tip. Do you remember Ooh, this one? On the t uh, Left Eye. T-Boz, oh. one of my all-time favorites. The chili. <laughs> <laughs> but I remember going to the record store and the CD came in like this giant plastic thing. Yeah. And you had such a hard time opening them. Was it a record or a CD? That's yeah, really funny. No, right? I'm, hey, I'm just, I don't know, was it an 8-track? Was yeah. it a cassette? No, it was a CD. It was, it was a CD. like a 94, okay. 94 oh, okay. I don't I, I just want to make sure. I, I think I was in sure. fifth grade. Wow. Yeah, Young it was in middle school. But if, you uh, weren't born yet, no, but fine. No, I was born, but I'm saying if you, I mean, Dante will soon be that age. Yeah, when, everything's that. He'll never know what a CD is. Right, but would you ever. let him buy, like, TLC on the O? On no. The, no, right? So how come back then we could buy whatever we want? I don't know if my mother knew. Well, Although that's she true. probably had to drop me off there at the store. Yeah. Uh, anywho, all right, so you I'm were, waiting for you were it. You're crazy. What? What, what are you waiting for? What was your first album? My first album? Let's see what my first album was. Here it is. Oh, my. Big Willie style by Will Smith. <laughs> DJ Benny over there knows what I'm talking what about. What was the hit off this it, song? He had Miami Potty in the city where the heat is oh, on. Oh, wow, yeah, yeah, And then, um... He, get Jiggy With It? Yeah, Get Jiggy With It was on that <laughs> album as well. But I was in high school when that came out, I remember. I think the, the, the next best album I bought, like one of the first ones I bought, was this yeah. one right here. Huh? The Cisco. Uh, the, is this the song song? Uh, that, that's what that track is from, is that album. I was like, you know, a seven-year-old. Jerry saying, let you buy this? Well, again, Jerry didn't know. Well, actually, so my dad used to work for, well, still works in radio, so sure. he would get all these promotional CDs. So oh. I would sneak into the promotions area, and I would get all the explicit albums them. without people knowing. I'd be like, oh. I'll. That's right, because you had to show ID if they had the, the little black label on it. I had the hookup. I wow, was getting those Cisco sure albums did. when I was a little guy. <laughs> yeah, see, now, like, as a parent, you're probably, like, a little bit more on your kids about that. But probably. Listen, well, now it's just YouTube, Paw Patrol. Right? And, well, not you know, yet. Well, yeah. yes, but yes. I don't know what's going to happen Next. down the road. Get ready. Mm -hmm. Shall be fun. All right, and since we're talking about music, a word from Britney Spears' manager says she might never perform again. Yeah. This is heartbreaking. I know. It's, it's pretty sad because the singer is scheduled to undergo a psychological evaluation after postponing her Las Vegas residency in the wake of her father's recent treatment for a ruptured colon, which is sad. I mean, when you think about it, well, she's one of those... You don't want to see your parents get no. sick, and she's clearly not, not taking it too well. Yeah, and it's, it's difficult for somebody like that. I mean, think, she was a kid when she blew up and the became Disney, a star. Yeah, the Mickey Mouse Club. And no one really Justin teaches you how to, right, how to handle all that fame. And now she's at this point in her career, and it's, I mean, I, I think you have to put your mental health and happiness before your so career. So important. You sometimes you have to take a break. And who says she can't go back? I mean, right. she's such a great performer. You know I danced on stage with Britney Spears. I, this Wait. just broke, so I couldn't pull the video quick enough. What? You danced <laughs> on stage? They pulled me out of the, I was at a concert with my sister in Hartford, and they uh -huh. pulled me out of the crowd. And on said, stage? Yep, yep. So, with Britney Spears? That's right. Did you have the snake on you? No, no, no. no. It wasn't slave free. I don't, I've got to run. I don't know what it was, but well, her abs, I hate to say this because I really like her, uh -huh. they were sprayed on. Oh, uh, they were spray tan abs. Mm. But yours weren't, right? Yours were just rock <laughs> solid, oh natural. Now, what did you do while you were on stage? I mean, We danced. You, you danced. Me, my, sis, both, my sister and me both went around stage. You danced Britney thing, Spears. My brother was up in like the nosebleed section, yeah. and he saw on the jumbotron, he's like, oh my God, those are my two sisters <laughs> on stage. What's Britney happening? Spears. 
He's like texting you guys. Like, oh, is that, that you guys? guys? That's was. insane. Such a cool good story, moment, though. Good story. All right. All, well, on, all on the YouTube. We're sending our, our best to Brittany, right? Yeah, and, I hope and a she cool comes back because it's such, she's such a great performer. Yeah, so we're right. rooting for her. Yeah. All right. Uh, this is different. If you're looking to find something a little more relaxing, how about trying a marijuana infused yoga class? How relaxed can you get, though? That's the question. The session <laughs> uh, is in Vegas where recreational cannabis is legal, so it incorporates pot with yoga and Pilates uh, for a unique mind body experience and it decreases inflammation and increases that circulation. So it's doing a lot there. Uh, no word on if they supply uh, snacks after the session, though. So Probably going to need one. Yeah. And, and Why don't you just take a nap? If you're looking to relax that much at that point, Well, it's maybe like you want to stretch, too. Stretch so. and just feel the full body experience. But here in Connecticut, of course, recreational marijuana isn't legal yet. Yeah, it yet. Could be. We don't know what's going to happen there. CBD oil is legal. They take the THC out of it, right? Yeah, and now, if you wanted to give it a try, you can order it in a drink over in New Haven. It's happening at both 212 Crown and Jack's Bar and Steakhouse. Yeah, starting this weekend, they'll allow you to add a little bit of CBD cocktail mix to your next drink. So there's nothing illegal about CBD right. oil. It's supposed to help with anxiety, joint pain. It's supposed to be like the cure-all. Not that we've tried it. We're just, just saying, saying hypothetically, like if we did, we would know <laughs> what it was like. But yeah, so I don't. Are you supposed to mix it with alcohol? I, that I don't know the benefits. Uh, maybe in moderation. It, it's supposed to zen you out, of. right? Well, that's a whole different. Well, let's try let's it. Let's go to Jack's. And we're going to Jack's this weekend. <laughs> we'll let you know on Monday how everything worked out. I guess. All right. We love sharing our living local deals with you, especially when it's something for the entire family. Yeah, this is going to be a lot of fun, right? Sure is. We are going to take you to Lime Rock. You have an opportunity to buy one, get one free weekend tickets. Uh, they are doing a big Memorial Day weekend uh, celebration, so it might be a good time to get those passes. Hashtag um, BOGO. That's buy one, right. Get and one. there's still a couple left, so if you log on, WTNH.com slash Living Local Deals. He's having a good time. Perfect for the kiddos. You guys <laughs> got to take advantage of those tickets, and it's a great deal. 50% off WTNH.com slash Living Local Deals. All right.